Welcome back to Machinima with Bam Bam in the time of social distancing. Where I show Bam Bam a bunch of Machinima at, Woo! Home, at home through Discord. <laughs> yeah, Discord! And then, and then record our lovely faces through uh, Facebook. It's good. It's not Technology! It's not a complicated setup at all. <laughs> no. Um, so we're going back to some old school Discovery Channel again uh, this week. Oh, nice. Do you remember Man vs. Wild? I do. Sweet. Okay, we're good. Um, Wow Crendor had put together some of these, uh, like, forever ago, and they've just always been, like, so great but so ridiculous and, like, just so wonderful. Uh, so this one, we're going to take a look at Outland in the Burning Crusade expansion. It's ridiculous. It It's, like ultra ridiculous i'm warning you now <laughs> i'm bought thrills and i'm going to show you what it takes to survive in the harshest environments of azeroth except today where we're heading to outlands outlands is a dangerous area there's not many people here since it's two expansions outdated but that doesn't mean it's not a challenging place to survive back when burning crusade <laughs> came out this portal was an entrance to a brand new world of adventure and opportunity now people remember it for tedious grinding quests Rep grinds and Perry Gatner jokes. Let's jump through the portal and get started. Whoa, take a look over there, Fell Reaver! Back when Burning Crusade first came out, many new adventurers in Outlands found out about Fell Reavers the hard way. This new zone is cool. Hey, why is the ground rumbling? Ah! Luckily, everyone knows idiots died to Fell Reavers, and we can continue on. On my way through hell, <laughs> I spoke to dead Hellbore, a native beast that has valuable tusks we can use. These tusks will provide us with a weapon we can use to protect ourselves, or multiple other uses like traps. Finally, after hours of travel, we've reached Zangar Marsh. Because of the constant rain and damp conditions of Zangar, we need to find a shelter and get a fire going as soon as possible. Oh, take a look at this! An abandoned drain eye ruin! This ruined structure will keep me protected from the winds, and this mushroom cap will allow me to stay out of the rain and build a fire. Right behind me is the Serpent Lake, which you would think I could try and catch some tasty fish in. But no, these lakes are polluted by the Naga. Drinking the water could likely be poisonous, which would be a blow to our morale. Oh, look what we got here! A glow cap mushroom! Glow cap mushrooms are considered a delicacy by the native Sporagar. They use them as currency, but they are edible if you cook them, and provide valuable vitamins and nutrients. Let's go try to start a fire so we can cook up this tasty grub. Bloody hell, I've been trying to get a fire started for quite some time now, but because of the rainy conditions and wind, it's near impossible. I'm just gonna try to get some rest. I've only gotten 20 minutes of sleep in the last two hours, but it's hard to fall asleep when you feel the ground shaking from fungal giants and bog lords only a few hundred yards away. After a few more hours of not being able to sleep, I decide it's time to trek forward to drier conditions. And look at this! We've reached Nagrand! Nagrand is a beautiful and hilly green landscape, but don't let that fool you. It's extremely dangerous and loaded with wildlife. Take a look over here! This stagnant pool of water is fresh, aside from all the Talbuck feces. We need to purify it somehow, and luckily, I know just the way. The native Magha used this trick often to purify drinking water. First, you gather some water. Then, you urinate in the container. Next, we leave it out in the light for a few hours. The impurities will evaporate, leaving you with fresh water. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do this, so we're just going to drink the urine water right now. It tastes awful, but in a survival situation, you need to take risks to boost your morale. Now we just need some food. Since it's too dangerous to hunt out here without a weapon, I'm going to use a technique mastered by Hemet Nessingwary called the Invisible Trap. Using the boar tusk from earlier, and some invisible string I always carry with me, I will set the trap. Now I'm going to try to take a nap since I have gotten very little sleep. Without sleep, your body will shut down, so we need to get some shut eye. <laughs> I heard a noise! I think we caught something! The trap snagged a tailbuck, a tasty reward for this long journey. Now I was finally able to get a fire going, cook up my tailbuck meat with glow cap mushrooms on top, and eat this delicious meal. As I continue onward with my stomach full, I spot what looks like a camp in the distance. Could it be? It is! Hemet Nessingwary's camp! Hello there, Hemet Nessingwary! 
You do not know how big of an inspiration you are to me. Hey there, aren't you that boy thrills guy? Yes, yes I am. You stole my TV show. I was supposed to be the one showing people how to survive. Oh, why do I always get such controversial endings? <laughs> Track list. Yep. It was it was up there. Right? Pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, so that was uh by the way, Hemet Nessingware, I don't think we've mentioned him. That's an anagram for Ernest Hemingway. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is definitely Blizzard's Ernest Hemingway. And like he like really all he does is he hunts every everywhere. So every expansion, he's there hunting stuff and we have to go and quest for him so but yeah that's kind of awesome <laughs> uh and yeah so that was two expansions outdated so now it is we're in expansion number eight so now it's like six expan seven expansions outdated damn it's been a while wow <laughs> ah, which means that this is also from like 10 years ago <laughs> I went old this month for um, for my Machinima. <laughs> nice. Ah, I don't even think I realized it until I until we actually started watching it. It's, it's all good. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it was. All right, I guess we're done for today. Unless there's something you wanted to say. Uh, go to our Patreon and love us there. Yes, uh, please check out our Patreon. Uh, yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, enjoy our Patreon. Um, everything's gonna be, like, everything's gonna be a week later that you're gonna get it on YouTube, so if you want to show it, get it early, go to Patreon, give us a dollar, and help us with our goals that we want to do like really bad. Yes, um, lovely. If you have any ideas for what other machinima that I should be shown, drop yes. a comment down below. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for our patrons for your generous contributions. Um, it's allowing us to do this ridiculous and wonderful stuff, even with the time of social distancing where we aren't even in the same room. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I thank you everybody else for tuning in. I hope you enjoy, and uh, we love you all 3,000.